<sighs> Hello, I've just got a few more preparations to do and I'll be with you. <laughs> like this life jacket. I got this uh this gym. Oh, yeah. I won't need it. Just some fireworks, that would've been good, wouldn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah, set them off. Ugh. There we go. sound. camera charged up as well as being a transmitter for my bluetooth microphone that's the idea anyway because this journey i'm about to take is going to take about two hours i'm really cranking it at the moment it gets dark it gets dark at about five so yeah <laughs> oh well Just turn you around. This is the way we're facing towards the River Trent. You can see the lock keeper Jim there, he's gonna help me through. Hope you can hear me all right. I'll just plug the microphone in. I don't know if it's transmitting properly. Oh, thanks for the feedback, by the way. It's so helpful. I'm seeing the comments come up and say, you know, it's working, it's not working, etc. <laughs> the signal, where we are now, I mean, I'm just about to check to see how good it is or how bad it is. Hey, thanks, everyone. Thank you for joining and also for commenting. Love it. I've got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous now because we've got to make West, um, we're leaving West Stockworth, um, which is postcode, Doncaster postcode, heading down to Torxey Lock, and I think that's in Lincolnshire if I'm, if I'm right. So we've got 15 miles to do at the end of the day, so when we get there it's going to be dark. It's going to take two hours, roughly, if I'm quick. So. That may send the camera nice and wobbly <laughs> because we'll be going so fast. But we'll see how we get on, and it'll be just lovely to have your company on the journey. All right. Just checking the, the picture. It does look a bit um, a bit pixelated already, but you know, as they say, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, smash that like button, guys. Don't forget to <laughs> no, do do what you like. I don't care. Right, I'll just show you what I've got here in terms of getting ready. So I'll just turn turn you around. We're just waiting for the water to get to the right. Yeah, we're just about ready to go, really. Um, but yeah, I've got my life jacket on. I have got, and hopefully I'm not rubbing the microphone too much with that life jacket. Um, and 
VHF radio, let's turn that on. Channel 74 for the, uh, the lock keepers on the, on the Trent, or I think most, most rivers. I don't know if I'm right about that. I've even got my iPad plugged in here. <laughs> Ideally, I'd have something uh, in print format, because it is a scanned in version of the charts that you can use to navigate your way around the, the Trent. And if it really goes wrong, I've got this. <laughs> so listen out, if you're in the area, <laughs> no, just watch this live stream and uh, yeah, meet me at Toxy Lock for a pint. Uh, well, I'll see, what, see. I might be knackered by then, and, and it'd be dark, and I won't be able to go through the lock at Toxy because everyone would, would have gone home. So um, I'm just going to give Jim the signal, walk over to him, and tell him that we're ready to go. It's not going to be ideal conditions. It looks lovely, doesn't it? And hardly any wind, but. The water levels. Jim, we're ready to go, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Happy days. Oh, I know, man. Yeah. Happy days. Well, it's been good to see you, Robbie. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I was just talking with you earlier on, uh, with me, um, I'm just um, sharing this with people on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, we we're just talking about this is pretty much the last chance. If I tried to go tomorrow, for example. Too late. Too late because the tide times, they're not always at the same time of the day. That's obvious to you and yeah, me, but might not be to some people, but uh, yeah. So this is the last chance before the weather gets a bit bad, last worse. Last chance next Wednesday to be your next opportunity. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to wait another week now, just because of daylight, really. Yeah. And you're right. on the edge today, so. Yeah, and it takes a roughly two to two and a half hours, is that right? Two, two hours-ish, hopefully you're gonna uh, give it a bit of engine and uh, yeah. you should be, should be good in two hours plus. Yeah. It'll be right, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> and you're on the radio, channel 74, channel VHF. 74. But you'll, you'll be clocking off at four anyway, won't you? Clocking <laughs> off at four. I'll have to make a Mayday call I'll, uh, if, uh, if it goes that wrong. <laughs> but uh, it'll, be, it'll be fine, even if it is dark when I get there. Yeah, you should be pretty close yeah. before four o'clock. Yeah. Before I t untie that, I'm going to actually just turn my lights on inside. So okay, people, other people can see me coming when I arrive then. Yeah, I don't think you're going to meet anybody else out there no. this time of day, but no. it's all good. Who knows, yeah, okay. Right, I'll just do that and then I'll come back out and untie the ropes and then I'll be starting the engine. Oof. Yeah, because obviously it's not dark now, but it will be at some point and I won't have the chance to just jump inside and turn the lights on. So I thought, if I just do that, I mean, it's something, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right. I've checked everything. I've checked the, um, checked the propeller, no, nothing wrapped around that. And uh, got enough diesel, got oil levels are good. So it'll be right, it'll be right, as they say up here. Oh. And what a beautiful day to do it on. We'll see a pretty good sunset tonight, tonight I should think. Untying the back rope. I'm going to warn you now, this journey isn't going to be that visually exciting because, well, <laughs> unless it really goes wrong. Um, just because it's, you know, it's a couple of hours and um, there's no other, no other boats around, as, I, as they're saying over there. And um, yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah, mate, let's do it. So 
so the picture will now start to wobble a bit because the engine's rattling away and I don't have any sort of dampening uh, apparatus. And you'll notice we are going down, going down this lot right now, this is it. And how, how, Jim, how, how far down is the drop? Four, four metres, four foot? Four metres down onto the River Trent and then we'll be treading water for a bit. Well, not treading water, but pushing against it. Yeah. Follow my journey. Stock with that is where I am right now, and I'll be heading sort of not really directly south, but winding river up the Trent, up the River Trent, past Gainsborough to. Okay, just getting some advice there from the lock keeper. He's my main man. You know, he, he's he knows this area so I've got to listen to him and I So this is a pretty drop we've just come down on, is about four metres, if you can hear. Here we are, I'm out on the River Trent, I'm not making much progress at all already. <laughs>
Oh, it's quite a lot of fresh water at the moment and then the river is still flowing out to sea towards me. But isn't that beautiful? Look at that sun. It's quite low in the sky. I've got my shades on right now. <laughs> and we are really struggling against the flow. But we're out of the lock at least. <laughs> this is a long goodbye. <laughs> Oh, people are still standing on the, um, the lot behind me. I would uh, show you, but it's a bit much. I've got to, got to concentrate, guys. That's oh, a cracker. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see the picture is a little bit clearer now that we've left the lock. It was just going down in a lock, dropping four metres. That doesn't really help. It was already a pretty bad internet signal anyway. So here we go. We're out on the open water. Water, sorry. Water. And uh, if you've just joined, just left West Stockwith, out onto the tidal trent, and we're headed upstream, pushing against the flow of water at the moment, the current. And we're headed to Talk Sea Lock, uh, which is pretty much the next turning off the river. We were going past Gainsborough uh, in Lincolnshire, so that's the area, country, the area of the country. Leaving Yorkshire and a little bit of parts of uh, Nottinghamshire, I guess, behind us. I think I've got that right. <laughs> it's hard to know where I am sometimes. The journey is going to take about two hours, two and a half hours. It will be about, it will be dark when I get there. A question just come in saying, "What's on my roof?" Because it looks different than yesterday. Uh, I've got some logs, some uh, branches that I found. They're still drying out before I, I'm going to get to them and chop them up. I just haven't had time, I've just been cranking it, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. I've got a map with me so I can point out various things, but most of this I'll probably be quite quiet because it is a long journey, it's, you know, it's two hours plus. And also the signal's crap. So anything I say will no doubt come out as garbage, garbled garbage. still see the lock, we're stuck with lock behind me. Straying towards the inside bend there, that's not a good idea. I don't want to get grounded out. Because we're going up on a rising tide. So at the moment the water is at its lower level. But also I've got a lot of fresh water coming towards me.
this point, I'm hoping that you can actually see the river and hear me. So I can't get a signal on my monitor. I can't see the, the image. I've got a, sec a second phone here that I'm trying to watch it through on. But it, is, it won't load at the moment, so I'm going to turn it off. Try again later. I'm getting some feedback saying that they, people can see it, which is good. It's great. <laughs> Otherwise, I've little to no idea at the moment. Okay, so someone's asked me how, what speed am I going roughly? Probably about one mile an hour. <laughs> really. So I'm going against the flow. It's calmed down a bit. I can... You know, hopefully I'll get some water going the other way and then when we do, it will pick up speed. I turn off to Torxey Lock for the Fosdyke Canal and to Lincoln. That's, that's where that uh, canal takes you. Slack water should be happening around about now, but because there's lots of fresh water coming the other way, like a higher volume of water flowing down the river, that time is increased. At the time that uh, you'd normally have um, calm slack water, where they both even out. But yeah, the tide pushes against that as well, so as the tide rises, get to ride that a little bit. It's always a lot of um, discouraging people who come up to and um, a guy called Nick who's a member of the, the, race, the local Oh, what is it? It's like a support group for people who want to take on the trend. It's, it's um, on Facebook, a group on Facebook, all about uh, boating on the tidal trend. It's like a support group. If you want to do it, you can buddy up with someone else, that sort of thing. I've forgotten what it's called though, so apologies Nick, I've uh, <laughs> already forgotten. And I'm not on Facebook, so I'm not signed up. At the moment, there's no other boats around, so... That's it, it's just me, just me and you. Going very, very slowly up the river. Question Do I know the rum wench? Which I think. Isn't that the boat's name? It's Heidi's boat. Narrow boat pirate is her channel. Yeah, I do know her, she's lovely. I recommend her channel, definitely. Right now I'm concentrating on my chart here, I'm trying to look ahead and see where we are. Next little location I can see at the side, this is just for locals really, Walkeriff Ferry, I don't know if that's how you say it. Walkeriff Ferry. But I'm barely out of West Stockworth. Tuck in some rum in a minute. <laughs> well, <laughs> can't drink too much of anything. 
Yeah, yeah. Going to the toilet on a boat when you're actually the only person moving it is very difficult. And I will leave it to your imagination. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> been asked if I've got to the end of the Chesterfield Canal. Um, no spoilers. You'll find out next year. <laughs> when the Canal Boat Diaries season series four comes out. expect it to be like this. It's not too exciting, is it? <laughs> We're not going at 100 miles an hour, that's for, that's for sure. Probably braking about two miles an hour at the moment. The engine's pretty much full pelt. Go a little bit. It's an old engine, I don't want to push it too hard. Engine temperature at the moment is about 125 Fahrenheit, which is pushing 50 or just over 50 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature of the engine, 50 degrees Celsius. We're keeping an eye on that. So I've just realised that most of my windows inside are closed, <laughs> so there's not much air draft coming through. But the, um, the actual air for the cooling of my boat is on the port side, so it's on your left. So it comes in through that side, not far off water level, which is exactly why I'm choosing to bust my balls today, making this journey now, because uh, the wind's about 5 to 10 miles an hour, much more than that, and it wouldn't be much fun, you get lots of waves, you know, waves plus air-cooled engine is not good. There are no weirs along this stretch. I've just been asked about that. And is my engine an SR2? That's a Lister um, model. It's not, it's an ST2. I don't know what the difference is. Probably nothing much in it. Shout out for everyone that's leaving lovely comments. Um, you don't have to, I'm not forcing you to. <laughs> I do really appreciate it though. Um, all the likes and everything, and the follows, etc., whatever. Lovely. And if you want to buy me a pint, there's a PayPal link in the description somewhere. <laughs> Unless you want to, I don't know, you can sign up to Patreon. Patreon. Um, my, my way of earning income when I'm not making TV shows, which, which doesn't happen all the time. Um, so yeah, most of the year I'm earning money through Patreon, 
Crank It crew. So big shout out to the Crank It crew for keeping me cranking. Keeping me doing what I love and sharing it with everyone for free. Just been asked if I'm doing super chats. I might do it at some stage, but I just feel like 30% of that money goes to Google. So it's up to you really, I suppose. I could, I could switch it on, couldn't I? And then if you wanted to send me money through this chat, it's possible, it's just not very really economical, I suppose, for you. You'll think you're giving me £10, actually giving me £7, is that, do you know what I mean? So it's, yeah. So if there's a PayPal link, paypal.me forward slash crank it if you're feel, feeling generous and you want to tip me. I'll try and give you a shout out on another live stream, if I can, if I can remember to do that, if I can get organised enough. Today was a bit of a rush. Well, it just always is a bit of a rush when you're getting ready to do something like this, going on a tidal river where you have to really pay attention. I've just been asked um, how my battery is doing. Yesterday I have a problem where the, um, well, I just, I guess it wasn't charging or something. Um, but at the moment, we're looking, oh, sorry. We're at 67%. But to check the battery, oof, I've had to stop being there. So uh, it would have cut out a little bit there. Sorry about that. Yes. 67% battery and it was about 70% when we left West Stockbridge so this stream may run out um, what I could do is just switch out the SIM card put it in the other phone and then um, start it up again if I can still see what I'm doing by then <laughs> otherwise whatever happens I will let everyone know that I got to talk to lock safely especially my mum who's watching probably <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'll let you all know, don't worry. It's just another day on the river. <sighs> to charge my phone, which I'm doing right now, through the microphone, uh, transmitter. I've got this really long cable. <laughs> it goes all the way down to the uh, where the, the batteries are at the, the boat. So the, the boat is at uh, the back. Uh, it's charging the, the batteries as I'm cranking it and then the cable is plugged into my iPhone from there. And it's a fast charging one as well. USB-C. But even that, you know, it's not not good enough it seems. So we'll just go as long as we can. We've got an hour and a half yesterday before the, uh, the phone uh, ran out of battery. Coming up to a bend in the river now. I don't know if you can see, there's a little slight change in the, the water on the, on the left or the port side. It's a bit more ripply, isn't it? That's because more exposed, but also it's deeper there. Around the outside of the river, it's deeper. And the, the current flows faster. But at the moment, the current is slowing down. And, um, yeah, we're making a bit more progress. On 
my chart here, it says rubbish has been going up and down this stretch for years. Keep a lookout for floating debris. But the lock keeper said to me he has not he's not seen much at the moment and I've not seen much. So it's all good. In about half an hour, I think, we should make Gainsborough. We'll be going past Gainsborough, and that's somewhere I could moor up. But if I did moor up there, which I'll explain again when we get there, um, I'd have to set off later in the day tomorrow, you know, if I want to make the journey on tomorrow, or wait a week in Gainsborough. But I need to get on to Lincoln. I've just been asked, why am I doing so many live streams? Because I can. Because I effing can. And if I can, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, um, it's just uh, I miss YouTube. I've been filming a lot of TV stuff, or spending a lot of time where I would normally be filming YouTube journeys. On, the, on my boat, I've been filming it for BBC instead. But now I'm at a break between filming, I've just got to get the boat to the next filming location. So I've got a bit of time. And it's just lovely to chat with you all, you know, it's lovely. I feel like you're all... I feel like you, you, you're you watching right now, I feel like you're with me. On the, sat on the roof. <laughs> Hope it's comfortable. And I've just been asked, for about the millionth time when the TV series is coming out, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Let's let's guess six months time? I don't know. Um, um, I'll, as soon as I know, I will tell you, don't you worry about that. I don't even know why people ask me, because they, they should know that I will tell them as soon as I know. I, I hope they will trust me to do that. But it just shows that it's, it's popular, and that's great, isn't it? I'm very grateful. It is a nice problem to have, yes. Um, you know, working on YouTube and TV, it's always been my dream, so I'm very, very happy. I've just been asked where the film crew stays, so it's not much of a film crew. It's me and my mate Stu, and my mate Phil. Shout out, guys, to you. Um, if you're watching, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> um, and they they have to stay in hotels because this, this boat is for working and, and for creating music and all that sort of stuff. You know, it, it's not set up anymore for, I don't even have a, a sofa bed. So there's nowhere to stay. But in the first, when we were making the first series, there were, were some times where producer Stu did sleep on board. <laughs> it's quite fun actually. We watched uh, People Just Do Nothing. Um, after having a bit of food and going to the pub. <laughs> People Just Do Nothing is a comedy series which I can recommend. Defo recommend, guys. Uh, is Canal Diary Boat... Yeah, another question here. Is Canal Boat Diaries going to be on YouTube? Probably. Because <laughs> someone uploads it all every time. So, you know, there's never going to be a problem seeing it, eventually. I've been asked, have I had a chance to make my new music? Any, any new music recently? Not really. I've, I've been fiddling around the other night, but that's another story. No, I was fiddling around on GarageBand. That's what I use. Um, Going through old stuff that I've been put together and trying to tweak them, so just building on tra old tracks. But I really, I would love to just sit down and get stuck in and create a slightly new sound for the next album. Which feels very pretentious to say that, but... but look at that sky. It looks good, doesn't it? All those clouds and pylons. We're in a part of the country where there's a power station, so power's being made here. Gainsborough Power Station, I think that's still up, 
operational. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. Uh, speed at the moment, probably going about four miles an hour now. I don't really know where we are, so I'm going to look out for... There aren't many um, points of interest around where I am here. But I can look at it and refer to the charts, so... Just have to keep my eyes open. On the left, it looks like we've just gone going past a sluice. No, it's not something else. Well, that's what I'm looking out for next. Is a, is a, a sluice, ah, which is on the right. It'll be on the right. So that's what we're looking out for. So we know where we are. <laughs> I've just been told I'm coming up to a place called Morton, and they are right. And Morton looks like it's just north, is it, of Gainsborough? Just outside of Gainsborough. Which growing up as growing up in Dorset as a lad, never had any experience of the north or or even the Midlands or anything. Went to Scotland loads of times, but um, I always thought Gainsborough, that's a place in America. <laughs> but no. Boston and Gainsborough, they started out here. I've been asked how old my barge is. I suppose it is a barge, isn't it? It's a working boat. <laughs> um, my narrow boat is 41 years old this year. So it was made in 1981. It is an old boat. So uh, everything's really quite unique on it, actually. You know, there's a lot of the switch I use to start the engine. Like, you just don't make them anymore like that. <laughs> you know? I wouldn't change it. Someone has just reminded me, thank you Paul, uh, about Open Canal Map. That's what I use, it's an app you can download, so while you're watching this maybe, and if you go into it you can be able to see exactly where I am on the, on the river, having left West Stop with behind me, and I'm headed on to Gainsborough. Quick engine temperature uh, check. Yeah, it's uh, about 60, 60 degrees centigrade now. Or about 135, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Some warm. Uh, I've just been reminded by Nick who, who runs Trent Link. So Trent Link is a Facebook page or group that you can join um, to check me out. I'm not even I'm not on Facebook so I don't know the terminology. <laughs> but Trent Link, you can search that on Facebook and uh, if you're worried about taking your boat, if you're a boater, out onto this wonderful waterway, then um, you can join there and then find out all the information you need and even buddy up with someone else. And according to my local guide, Nick, thank you, Nick Roberts, <laughs> um, Walkerith, Walkerith Ferry, although it hasn't been a ferry for years, he says. How long have I been living on this barge? I've just been asked. Um, seven years on and off. 2020 lockdown, 2021, I, I did spend a lot of time in a house. Shock horror. But, uh, you know, 
you've got to do what you've got to do when you've got fam family. If you're a step parent or if you're in a relationship, you just go with the flow, don't you? But right now, I'm free and easy, guys. I'm single. Ladies form an orderly queue. <laughs> chat waving on the side, I don't know if you can see, but uh, he's not in the queue, no, it's just ladies bliss, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, in seven years living on this boat, and then ten years ago I started in London. <laughs> I've been uh, told by the guy on the side, the tide is turning, so we are going to pick up some speed now. I'll just show you, side view, here we are, look. It's a bit wonky, I'm afraid, sorry, but that's how slow we're going, or fast we're going. It's hard to tell because you're so far away from the bank, but it's got to be like six miles an hour, isn't it? Something like that? I don't know. We'll see. So we are picking up speed. Oh yeah! Cranking it. <laughs> I, said that for, I said cranking it so many times. And so it's not my fault, it was... Uh, someone um, on YouTube. Oh no, I did, a, I did a Vine video. I don't know if you remember Vine. A bit like TikTok. Back in the day. And uh, I made a Vine about um, one character that I made up saying, come on, let's crank it. Whereas the other character who I also play says to, to the other one, can you, can you slow down, please? Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> and then someone picked up on that. I included it in a YouTube video and that's it. Everyone's been going crank it all the time. And, I just thought, yeah, let's just carry that on. Fine. I've been asked what the tidal range is here. It doesn't look like much. And if I was to hazard a guess, yeah, yeah I'd say you're right. But I'll leave it up to the experts to um, answer that. I only know about boating, innit? Although I know enough to respect the waterway that I'm on. You know, you've got to do your research, haven't you? Keep getting asked, how have I met narrowboat pirate Heidi? Yes, I have. Stop asking me. <laughs> She's lovely as well. She's one of my favourite people on the, on the system. I'm at being asked, do certain days on the canal inspire my guitar playing? I'll be honest, not really. I don't. <laughs> just... I just uh, get the guitar out and I come up with a new riff or something like that and that will be the springboard for the rest of the song. So when, it, so, but interestingly it's not how you think, it's like, you know that one, uh, Windy Biscuits, the one that most people know? See I'm not a singer, I can't sing it very well. But um, how I wrote that was I started out with the other bit, the melody. Uh, not the melody, the um, oh, the picking intro that you can hear right at the start. So uh, yeah, and then I put some beats on it, and um, yeah, <laughs> just make music that I like, sort of dancing to, really, or bobbing my head to. You know, if I'm not bob bobbing my head to something, it's it's not working. been asked what's the price of boat diesel several times actually this week um, I don't know I don't know if anyone else uh, knows please put in your prices I don't know how you're gonna do that though because it's like there's a split on um, heating De diesel for heating is tax-free and propulsion has got tax on it the way I see it but yeah I'll leave it up to the community to answer that question What was the price of my boat, I've been asked, uh, when I bought it seven years ago? Crikey. It's 
22 grand is what I paid for it. It was going to be more because it had been overplated, but I said, look, all I've got, including the money that I was going to use to do it up, 22 grand, mate, that's, that's all I've got. But because I was committed for so long over winter, waiting for the boat to be overplated, the, the buyer just, I think he just had to say, yeah, go on then. No idea what it's worth now. I think it's valued about 30 grand, just for insurance purposes, with a 45,000 pound uh, replacement fee. So if I sink it right now in the middle of this river, um, well, you'll know it's an insurance job. <laughs> but also, uh, no, if I sink it right now, that, that means I could get 45 grand to spend on a new, on a new boat. But if I was to get if I was to sell this boat, which is already choking me up even thinking about that, um, it'd have to be to the right person, wouldn't it? It'd have to be, I don't know, stick it in a museum. <laughs> How people used to live in the early, um, in the 2010s. A great question has come in um, just, that, just now. And that is, how much is a pint? Well, that that varies greatly. You know, what are you what are you drinking? Where are you in the country? If you're, let's just pick something that I drink a fair bit. Uh, Guinness. Oh, I mean that's about the average price for that. It's got to be about five quid, isn't it? average price. And the real cheap version of that is probably from a can, <laughs> which is not great. But I'm sure whatever I say, whatever price I say of anything, it'll be um, debated wildly. I've been asked who came up with the Naughty Lass, as, a, as in the name. And that was little old me. Can you hear that plane going over? Just a little, um, you know, just a little basic plane. I don't know what, I don't know what planes are. <laughs> but we're headed into plane country, definitely. Lincolnshire, famous for its aeronautical prowess. Especially during the war. So yeah, Naughty Lass, I came up with it. It's a play on the words Nautilus, as um, I've just seen Matt Smith has just said, yeah, you got it, mate. Um, and it's, yeah, so I thought, I've got to, I lo love making, making people laugh, and people don't stop laughing every time they see it. But they don't know it's a play on words, they just go, oh, Naughty Lass, oh, that's a bit, oh, that's a bit naughty, isn't it? Oh. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it makes people, makes people laugh, which is good enough for me. Someone uh, asked me the other day, a lady with her friends. Uh, I say lady, she's about the same age as me, and um, she's just uh, having, trying to have some banter with me, trying to impress her friend. She was like, oh, who's the naughty lass then? And I said, you are. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, fair, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> some people, they're just trying to have such fierce banter, and I won't, I won't have it. Shut them down straight away. No. <laughs> that was an awful towpath banter earlier on. Someone just said, nice day. And that was it. So yeah, they need to work on their towpath banter. It's not good enough. Yeah, and I won't accept lovely day or glorious morning. Don't. I don't want any of that. <laughs> Got to step it up. Oh yeah, come on. But I've never been much for small talk anyway. And now I'm going to shut up for a little bit unless you've got a question. Because my vocal cords are burning out. <laughs> as long as it's them and not the engine. Some rivers have towpaths, just to answer another question there. <laughs> you buggers. Um, and I think this one, for this one, it's not a towpath. Sorry, yeah, let's start this again. So, tidal rivers like this one, it wouldn't have a towpath because you'd use a sail originally to get down it, get your boats down it off the canal, you'd put the sail up and use the wind. 
or use your oars, whatever you, you know, you wouldn't use a horse. You'd use the current, you know, the, the tide. But you can, having said that, you can walk alongside most rivers, like this one. Ugh. I've just been asked in the comments, Robbie, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, doing all right. You can turn the camera around if you want me to. If you want to look at my face, you could do that. But I won't be able to see your comments. But I'll try my little monitor here, because I've got a monitor. So if the monitor works, I'll turn the camera around. going for an hour now. Not really made much progress. Come on, stay positive, Robbie. Come on. So should it should have should be in Gainsborough by now. Easily. And I'm going full pelt. Pretty much. Yeah. Go a little bit faster. Oh, I can't get the internet on the other phone. Oh, I, hang on. Oh, I should be able to. Come on. Just need to get to the Wi-Fi. Whereas with the stream right now, I'm actually just streaming it via 4G or whatever I can get through my SIM card. A little bit of behind the scenes there for you. I'm going to have a look at my chart again, see where we are. No idea. <laughs> We're not anywhere near Gainsborough, though. I don't think. I suppose technically we are, yeah, if you've got a car. Just had a really, really disparaging comment just now. You're not getting to talk to in, in the daylight. Don't you think I know that? I know what I'm doing. But if I don't move today, that's it for another week. And I can't wait that long. And I'm used to night boating. The conditions are perfect today. The weather is perfect. The light might will not be but, you know, we'll pick up some more speed as the um, tide rises. Question from my mate Greg. It says, can you not moor up in Gainsborough and finish tomorrow? You'd finish. You'd think that, wouldn't you? Great little stop off there at Gainsborough. Start in the daytime tomorrow, daylight. Can't do it because think about the tides. 
tide time as it's rising and going along the river, the direction we're headed. So if it's 3 p.m. at West Stockwith, it's going to be later, isn't it, at Gainsborough? So I'd still have to, I'd still have to start later from Gainsborough. So I'd still get there in the, in the dark. But great question because that's what I, I thought. Why can't I just stay off, stay over at Gainsborough for the night? been asked, do you ever see an old church or a castle and just have to tie up and explore? Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of castles. My dad loves churches, he's a bell ringer. <laughs> um, and he's, he has instilled a little bit in me, you know, about old churches and how, how, just how incredible they are. But, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not just going to moor up to explore one. But, yeah, I might consider it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not your average National Trust uh, card holder. I don't hold a National Trust membership. I'm not. I just not. I'm not. That's not my bag. I go to heavy metal concerts. <laughs> I just booked one for next year. Actually, this morning. Anyway. I've been asked a couple of times now, have you ever been on holiday to Great Yarmouth before? If I don't answer your question, <laughs> it just you know it just means I don't want it means I don't want to answer it. Because I've never been there. I, you know, it's just it's a non, it doesn't go anywhere that answer. I've never been there. <laughs> so, sorry about that. <laughs> so if I don't answer the question, there's usually a reason. Either I can't see it, or um, yeah, which is a good point actually. Or I'm just skipping it because it, you know, I'm, I'm looking on to the next question or I'm still answering a previous one. Over to our right hand side here is a sluice, I think. Looks like one. Which means we're nearing a sharp corner, which then leads us into Gainsborough. I'm not sure what the, there'll be a dike there or something, drainage, letting water out of that area of land on the, on the right hand side, on the starboard side. Um, there is a sluice there, that green, probably can't even tell the colour from where you are, but it's a sluice. It's helpful to me because that means I know where I am on the chart match it up to what I've got here. Because apart from that, you know, there's not much else around, is it? Just a lot of hedges. You can't see where you are. Beckingham Marshes, thank you for the, whoever commented just now. Because if you're local, that might be useful to you, but if you're not, you probably just mean anything. But <laughs> 
I think it's quite nice. Beckingham Main Drain, apparently, is the name of the... Uh, that, that's the uh, strip of water that lets uh, all the dike or whatever, that lets water out of that marsh. We're in an area of the country now, especially Lincolnshire, um, it's been extensively drained, famously, you know. And as one of the most famous engineers, Cor uh, Cornelius Vermoyden, his name was. Great name. And he dug out a ditch or a drain or a, a dike, uh, which in Gaul, which they actually just they just call. It's referred to on the map as. Dutch River. <laughs> so, great name. Anyway, here we are. Gainsborough's in sight. Yes. At least. Ah. I've been told that I could wait at Gainsborough for the morning tide. I can't do that. There isn't a morning tide for me. That's what I was told by the lockkeeper. He said just go for it, so I'm doing it. You know, I'm not going to take someone's advice over the internet. I take it uh, someone I actually met who, whose job it is to um, control the lock. And he might not know my boat at all well, but I have to trust him, don't I? Otherwise, who can I trust? Now, there's a, someone's commenting and telling me all about where I'm headed and I know you're being helpful, but it, you're not correct. You're saying that, um, so someone has commented saying that the Torxy lock keepers will be there for me when I get there. They won't, they'll have clocked off at four. That's their hours at the moment, they're on winter hours. In the summer, you would have been right. So I fully know the risks that I'm taking right now, but it means I'll be in the dark and you probably won't see anything. But uh, I'll let you know when I get there, at least. So just to reiterate for people who have just joined or skipped this bit of the video, we've left, left West Stock with and I'm headed to Torxy Lock, where I can just moor outside the lock because the lock keepers won't be um, operating the lock when I get there. Here we are seeing some new apartments, or newish, <laughs> um, considering Gainsborough is such an old place, old town. But yeah, this is uh, the first part of Gainsborough that we're seeing. And I've been told Brash's Woodyard is on the right in a bit, <laughs> if that's interesting to local people.
been asked what that at the moment, I'm not really sure, but we are definitely using the slack water to the best advantage, getting some... We're, we're cranking, that's what the speed we're doing, we're cranking speed. Looking to the sun setting there. I've just been asked, is there anyone behind me? I'll, I'll show you. No? <laughs> it's just me and you. Just me and you. So thanks for joining me. Because, yeah, without you, I'd be bricking it. <laughs> nah, I'll be alright. I've done, I've done silly stuff like this before. have a little break now for a bit from uh, chatting to you. So hopefully people will save their questions for a while.
Right, I'm going to turn you around. Thanks for um, looking after the boat for me. Quite a break. Not a great angle, is it? Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, it's not a good drink. Not just that. Bit of rum as well. To uh, calm the nerves. <laughs> Can't drink too much, as I said, you know, going to the loo on a boat whilst you're the only one moving it. It's not really uh, something you can do easily. I'll leave it up to your imagination though. Smidgen of rum, a little bit of ginger beer as well. My mate's called his rum ting, but I think it's formerly known as uh, dark and stormy. Hopefully it doesn't get stormy, but it will get dark. Whatever. Cheers. Turn you around so we can see this boat that we're passing. It's a tug, I believe. And you can get to see some of the sunset as well. Although it's not, it's not amazing. Not your last receiving. Go ahead. Over. Hi there, Robbie. It's just Jim. I'm just ringing you for a progress check and see how you're getting on, my friend. Over. All right, mate, yeah, um, not quite past Gainsborough Moorings yet, but um, I'm in Gainsborough anyway. Over. Yeah, all right, mate, I thought you might go a little bit further than that by now. Try to turn here, so it's, it's coming up behind you, but there's not a lot of bus, really, my friend. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Over. Cheers, Jim. Yeah, thanks for all your advice, mate. And, um, yeah, I'll be in the dark for a bit, I imagine, but... Uh, yeah, um, have a good weekend. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I was supposed to say, naughty lass out, but I actually wanted him to reply. So uh, if I said over and out, that would be like saying, over to you, but I'm not talking to you anymore. That's it. Done. We're done. <laughs> so, so when they set the films, over and out, they're wrong. Right, let's just uh, turn you around towards Gainsborough again. Well, I can see your comments now, so if you've got any questions, please do, fire away. And I'll uh, read them out for people who are watching this back as well. Been asked if I've got a spotlight. I think the, the term that narrowboaters use is a um, tunnel light or navigation light, possibly. No, Tun tunnel light I think is most correct because it's right at the front, it's what you use to get through tunnels. Um, and I've got one of those LED, it's good enough. Um, but apart from that, it will be my torch, head torch, and also moonlight, <laughs> which will illuminate things for me. We'll, we'll be all right. The moon's um, waxing gibbous at the moment. I think that's the right term. You know, it's, it's becoming a full moon in the next week or so. Next few days, maybe. I saw it last night. It was very bright. And, uh, yeah, hopefully if we don't get too much cloud cover, I'll see plenty of it. But we're coming to an hour and a half of this live stream which yesterday is where it cut out, so... Um, yeah, just the battery 
even when I'm charging it as I'm going along, it just doesn't quite last. It's using more power than I can put into it. I think that's the thing. My friend Greg's just said actually that um, there might be some fireworks going off tonight and he could be right, yeah. <laughs> he, could, he could be right there. Although it's not the 5th of November quite yet. It's the 4th, 4th of November today. I can see the moon. You might not be able to see it, but I can see it on the, on the left. And it's looking big. Already. About one one hour twenty from Talk to Lock, I imagine. If if I'm if I'm travelling on a you know normal tide. But I'm not going to get much, I don't think. So it might take me an hour and 45 minutes, more, more likely. So I'll be arriving in the dark. So this is Gainsborough proper. We're going fast now. Just coming up to the moorings. on those buildings there. asked a good question, you know, what happens if I get trouble on the, on the river? You know, if it really goes bad, I chuck me, me um, anchor over the side, don't I? Just more up in the middle of the river. It's not a commercial waterway here so, anymore, so... We've just got other boats, other pleasure uh, boats coming the other way. And I've got my VHF radio, so I can make a mayday call. If it goes really wrong. Uh, I could call the fire service if I get stuck again. <laughs> but look at that. Look at the reflections in the calm water of those buildings on the left. Wow. This is what it's all about. Asked what happens if uh, the boat's starting to sink? Oh, I just abandon ship, <laughs> swim to the side, call the, the, 
all the uh, fire and service, fire and rescue. And if you if you're worried of a worrying disposition or whatever, you know, if you're my mum watching this, please don't worry. Don't don't listen to all these comments that are coming through. Because some of these people have absolutely no idea what it's like to do what I'm doing. Some of them do, but you know, how do you know? You can't, you can't tell, so. Yeah, yeah, it's just ahead of us is the bridge, Gainsborough Road Bridge. I've got to take the, um, the middle arch. And it's clearly marked. I've got a green light on one side, which you'll see in a minute, and then a red light on the port side. So the red light's always on the, um, the left or the port side. Uh, no, it's, uh, no, it's not always like that, but going upstream. Keeping the red. No, it is, it is always, isn't it? It's always green's always on the right, and um, red's always on the left. Sorry about that. So even I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, just about to go into Gainsborough Bridge, Gainsborough Road Bridge. Uh, going past the floating moor moorings here, you could use that. But if I, if I moor up now, there, that's it. I'm there for a week. on my own and I don't fancy that. Do you know what I mean? We've got some locals on the left there. Hopefully they're going to give us a wave. No. <laughs> oh, but here we are. Kids are waving. There is a pub by the bridge on the right, you can't see it, but um, it's, it's open. It looks open for business anyway. Although the lights aren't on <laughs> inside, so I could be wrong about that. <clears throat> but I know a boater who owns a pub in Gainsborough. It's a craft beer place, I'm not sure what it's called, but be worth a try if you like that sort of thing. There's a chap on the bridge here. This is Nick. He's, our, he's my local guide. Um, and he's the one that runs Trent Link Facebook, Facebook group. <laughs> and he's been watching the stream along, along with you. <laughs> Alright Nick, how you doing? <laughs> It's 
So he's full of positive uh, encouragement. He says, you've got no time. So, you know, I'm doing, I'm just doing the best of what I've got. I've done this stretch, the river, uh, a couple of times now. Once on my boat and once on uh, Lou, a woman I helped um, move the boat before. You might have seen that series of videos I did on YouTube. She just bought a boat and I was just helping her get it to Sheffield, so we were coming the other way. Last time I did this, I think, was well. The first first time I did this river was with my dad. We did all, we did a, a kick a kidby lock to um, where we had this talksy lock, and um, yeah, it took us about five hours. But it was 25, um, 25 miles roughly. I think. Yeah, I'm just looking back at the lights on the bridge. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, I think it depends if you get up, up or downstream the colours, so that's quite confusing. Going upstream, red's on the right. If you go downstream, red's on the left. There must be an easier way to remember that. <laughs> Oh, someone just said, uh, red, right, returning. So if I was coming from the ocean. No, that doesn't make sense. Right, right. <laughs> I've been asked, will I be going live over the weekend? I don't think so. But I could be, could do, I don't know. Shall I just keep going? Maybe I'll just do one, a short one tomorrow.
I've been asked what was the what would be the one thing I miss that I would add to the boat. Um, gotta be a hot tub, isn't it? <laughs> uh, ba a bath, definitely a bath. Although you can get them on some boats, you just uh, end up using all your water just to run it. Also, a washing machine. Really, really do miss a washing machine and a dryer, but I have no space for that. And I've no, um, I've not enough power for it either. asked if I ever considered it getting a pet and um, yeah I have always considered it because I love animals but I love them too much to keep them cooped up in my boat <laughs> with me yeah it's, it's just uh, yeah it's just not practical for what I do as a job although people would love to see that wouldn't they they'd love to see me with a dog but the reality is it'd be a nightmare <laughs> because dogs require a lot of caring for you know some of them are like little kids. to everyone who's tuning into this or watching it back um, little shout out to Steve uh, his boat's called Pie Rat which is a great name and he helped me fit the solar panel that you're sitting on right now <laughs> but, uh, but to be honest I am just enjoying the sunset really that's why I've gone a bit quiet because I'm just like wow look at that I'm just taking it in
just saw um, was it Gainsborough Power Station there. I haven't done my research on that. I have no idea if it's still being used. Maybe yet someone else can comment about that. A lot of the coal power stations have been. Well, there, I don't. They are still functional, but none of them are actually using coal. Actually, no. I, to, to be honest, I have talked to someone who works at a power station recently, and they're like, "Nah, we still, we still every now and then have to use a bit." But coal's imported these days, so uh, yeah, <laughs> not easy to come by. Right, so headed towards this bridge here, it's a railway bridge. Uh, not sure, uh, it's just Gainsborough Railway Viaduct, right? And I have to pass under the left side, or the port, port side where I'm looking, yeah. But it'd be easy to work that out because you'd be like, well, it's a, we're going around a corner, so you stick to the outside, you know, the outside of the river. Just been told about that power plant we've passed. Apparently, it's uh, planned to see separation this year. Is that right? Yeah. Just going under Gainsborough Railway Viaduct. I've not used it before. I don't think I have. I've not had any um, notifications on my phone saying we ran out of battery, so hopefully we're doing all right. Certainly staying cool. You know, not overheating. As, as it can do, you know, if you're charging something whilst using it, that's extra strain on the battery, isn't it? The temperature right now is, uh, I don't know, probably like seven or eight degrees, I don't know, something like that, Celsius.
coming up to the next um, kink in the river. Not like that. Um, next bit of the river turns around to the right is, well, it's one of those where I have to actually be in the middle, so I can't stick to the outside. I just uh, follow the middle channel because of um, sandbanks on either side. But I, my boat's not that deep drafted, so and we're at high water, you know, well, yeah, got to be um, at high water now. Or rather, uh, approaching it, sorry. So there's no danger of grounding out, there shouldn't be. But there is further up the river. You know, this is why I've got a chart. You can't see it because it's behind the camera. I've got this little chart here. I can, I can track exactly where I am just by the landmarks I'm passing. It's all good. And it's uh, on my iPad. It's almost like I thought ahead about this, isn't it? Um, so if it gets too dark, I can still see my iPad. I can't really show you the chart because it's I'm, I'm steering. When you're steering um, uh, and you're going at full crank, which I pretty much am, it's uh, well, it's just difficult. It's more strain on the tiller itself, so I've got to be on it. But I'll show you when I've finished. I can remember. <laughs> Thanks again for everyone for joining me. If you're, if you're watching this back or if you're watching this live, thank you. Jane has just asked me, will she be able to wave at me as I'm going past? I'm not sure, Jane, because I don't know where you are. <laughs> if you're in Oston Ferry, then uh, no, because I'm not going that way. asked how long the live stream is going to go on for. I don't know. Just keep going until uh, the battery runs out. I'm not checking the battery because every time I do that, it uh, cuts the video. So it's not fun for people watching it back or if you're watching it live.
realise it's quite good that I'm making this live stream as the light's fading because I think the camera is, is enhancing the picture a little bit so I can see a little bit more what's going on. <laughs> so if all else fails I've got the uh, camera view as well. I'll just uh, show you the view off to the right. I think that's the power station again in the sunset. Beautiful. But I've got to concentrate right now because I'm going around a really sh sharp bend. I've got sticks in the mirror. Oh, the middle, sorry. Sorry, someone just proposed to me and that threw me off. <laughs> Too young to get married. <laughs> Here we go. We're on an incredibly sharp bend. Look at this. I don't even know why I lifted the camera up there to show you that um, power station, because guess what? We're going to see it in all its glory. Look at this. And we'll get a bit more of the sunset as well. Lovely. I see quite a lot of, uh, quite a few power stations by the river. I always wonder why, why is that? Well, it's got a fresh supply of water to cool it with, isn't it? That's how I, that's how I see it anyway. It's obviously got the cooling tower as well, but surely that's the reason why they're next to the river. Especially if it's a nuclear power station. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an expert on those things. been asked a question by Brian Jones. Brian, I've got to thank you for your questions in this live stream. There's been a lot of them. And that's why I haven't answered all of them. But I hope you've answered enough of them for you. Um, I want to give other people space to ask theirs as well. And um, I have the power to mute people if, uh, or, or even block you. If, if you're out of line, but you, you just you just ask loads of questions, so that's fine. I'm just watching them come through. So I hope you enjoyed the stream. But um, I don't pander to attention seeking. Um, but I hope it doesn't put you off watching the videos. But yeah. Thank you, Brian. There we go. That's your shout out done. That's it. That's all you get. <laughs> Going past Lee Marshes for any locals, and of course, your local power station there, Gainsborough Power Station. Or, or I should say, West Burton Power Station, that's, that's its name. My guide has got two tall chimneys, check, and three medium chimneys. And then two times four cooling towers, so like eight cooling towers. Yep, so they're still there. Whereas if you pass by Nottingley Power Station, we haven't got any cooling towers left, I don't think. Last time I checked.
Apologies if I get a bit sniffly, by the way, but it's just really cold. <laughs> you know what it's like. Perhaps I should have um, tied on a... Well, this is what I do when it's really cold. I put on a um, scarf over my, over my face. Could wear a bar balaclava, but that might be a bit scary for people. <laughs> what people? No one around, is there? Yeah, maybe I should get a balaclava, that'd be great. The balaclava to boater, I call myself. asked um, where in the world am I um, and if you don't know I'll just say yeah essentially I'm in the north so like Lincolnshire famous with sausages and uh, fertile farming land although this is where a lot of like, the veg is grown like uh, cabbage and stuff like that <laughs> But I think now it's only fertile because they put loads of fertiliser on it. <laughs> According to my dad. Enjoying this. This is um, a lovely little trip, really. It's calm. There's not too much wind. It's not raining. Not too many clouds in the sky. It is going to get dark, but it's just how it goes, really. I've got my uh, tunnel light on. <laughs> so I'll be able to see ahead of me, just about. You know, I'll be able to see if I'm about to crash into a hedge, for example. head torch as well and another quite powerful torch but the powerful torch I've got a cross on myself I had it ready but I can't actually see it anywhere at the moment uh, so I don't know where that is is it in a pocket no, I don't. but it's not that powerful well you know and then the batteries are very small so it wouldn't last long anyway Someone suggested uh, get some lights out on Torxy lock landing. That would be quite cool. I'd love to. I'd love to see like yeah. Each. I don't know how many bridges I got to go. Not too many, I don't think. But that'd be quite cool to see people on the bridges lighting the way. <laughs> Although it probably just shine in my face, so it's better that I just get used to the dark and then um, let my eyes adjust. All good. I'm, 
just happy that the um, the video is still going. So yesterday it really only lasted uh, an hour and a half, and then that was it. Had to turn it off because of the battery running out. I've been asked why are there no other boats about. That's a good question, isn't it? Why? Why aren't there any other boats about? Because it's that time of year. People don't generally cruise about the system at this time of year. The Canal and River Trust like to put winter stoppages out, shut down parts of the canal or river just so they can get works done, which we wouldn't be able to do in more busier times of the year. Phil is asking, how was the stew? So a couple of nights ago, I made a stew on, the, on a live stream. And it's really nice, yeah. Not that good, I'll give it seven out of 10, there we are. <laughs> Could have done with a bit more flavor. It was better the second night, I've got to tell you that, it was lush. It was eight out of 10 then. And I've been asked by Sue, uh, if I'd have moored at, Ga moored at Gainsborough, how long would I have to wait um, for the next reasonable, you know, daylight hour passage? It would have been another week, yeah. And I've, I've really got to get going. I'm trying to make a TV show. I mean, it's not worth killing yourself for, but I need to um, I need to get there, you know, carry on, keep things moving along. And I, I, I did think I'd make um, better progress today, I've got to say. But it is what it is, that saying there, again. Got to roll with it. I can't see the moon at the moment, actually. I was hoping I'd see it, but I can't see it. It's behind some clouds. But as you can see, the river it reflects any sort of light, doesn't it? So you know where the water is. Even if I just got my little head torch, <laughs> I can see where it is. I've got my guide with me. I've got um, um, my, what else have I got? I've got rum. <laughs> um, got my anchor. They're all, they're all there. I've got to wear my life jacket as well, so you know, it's all good. Just been asked where am I filming TVs? stuff for uh, where, where am I filming it and it's um, I'll tell you where I have filmed Sheffield through Rotherham Doncaster out of Kidby Lock onto the Tidal River Trent there down to West Stockwith and then up Chesterfield Canal and at the end of the canal the film crew the uh, Stu and Phil they just said see you later bye and then uh, that's it <laughs> Yeah, they were, they've got other stuff to do. They've got, they've got their own lives to lead, work to do. Editing, for example, you know, it's got to be done. So I've just moved, I'm moving the boat on my own. Um, yeah, just to the next filming location, which you'll be able to find out what that is in a few more days. But I don't like giving it away, you see. I don't like telling people where I'm going to be filming from because I don't want to make it you know, I wouldn't want a load of people waiting there and sort of it'd be lovely you know waving me off very, very nice but um, it's it's not real is it you know it won't feel real if there's loads of people sort of you know calling out to you and stuff and saying oh I love the program you know and all that stuff, which is great I love it when people do say that but yeah, <laughs> so it takes you out of the actual show. <laughs> Apart from my extremities, I'm quite uh, quite warm at the moment. 
I've got my long jobs on. Just coming up to a, look at another landmark ahead of us. Let's have a look see what that is. I'm sure someone in the comments will already say what it is. It's blinking red lights ahead of us there. asked how many people I know, or, sorry, how many people know me from my, whatever, you know, the videos I make. And there's a lot of them. It's, it's more now than it ever has been. It's really surprising. It's lovely. Um, yeah, it is. It's really nice. You've got to be grateful, haven't you? Being asked where I'm going, you know, am I going to Boston, for example? Um, but I, I prefer not to say where I'm going. That's all right. Just keeping it real, keeping it as genuine as possible. But you'll work it out by the time in about a week's time. See the moon peeking through the clouds on the left. Not quite there yet. But that's already reflecting the water, so that's nice. I mean, I'm trying to work out, just looking at my chart, see um, what this red tower is ahead of us. I think it's just part of the power station, I'm not sure. I don't know. by Tessa, what's for tea tonight? I don't know, I've got plenty, plenty in stock, but um, I had pasta before I set off, so I'm not hungry at the moment, I'm not thinking about food. Uh, there's a pub nearby where, where I'm more up, so perhaps I could go there. <laughs> they do a great pie and, pie and a pint there, with lots of gravy. I'm going to turn round, turn round here um, on the river. We're going round to the left. You can see the moon behind some clouds. Sounds boring, but <laughs> it isn't at all. Come on. There we go. Just coming into the shot now. That's our moon. That will be providing a reflection on the water for us. Oh, 
And look at that, it's just peeking out behind the clouds there. Asked, do I have any plans to cross the wash? Yeah, I'll do it one day. Last time I was there, it was sort of depths of winter, and the, the lock keeper said to me, It's like, Well, you could, you could make it across, even in your boat, but it would take you such a long time. The days are short, obviously, so you'd be doing it at night time, <laughs> which obviously I prefer not to do. And uh, he says, I want, it to, I want it to be enjoyable for you, I don't want you to not enjoy it. And I think he's right there. And I was happy, I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll do it. There's plenty of time, isn't there? Do it one day. Now I've been streaming for well over two hours. Uh, my engine temperature. Let's just do a little check. Is at 80 degrees Celsius. Which is pretty hot, but um, it's bloody cold outside, so um, we'll be all right. been asked is my headlamp my tunnel light LED or halogen it was halogen until I changed it to put LED or at least I had help changing it to LED <laughs> I can't really see the moon that well. It's uh, yeah, still providing quite a lot, a lot of light, isn't it? Isn't that funny?
been asked if I've been tempted to cruise over to Europe. Not really, I've still got much more to do in the UK. And in Ireland as well, I'd like to do Ireland as well. But, yeah. No rush, no rush to do anything. Never been in a rush to do anything. No point. I, you know, obviously I'm <laughs> going at full speed here, but you know. The engine's doing pretty well, I think. Just hanging fast at 80 degrees centigrade. Not cooled by the river, cooled by air. It's about six degrees at the moment. Seeing some, uh, I think they're Canada geese around these parts. Just fly off. And I'm passing some sheep as well, you can't see them, but they'll be wondering what, what the bloody hell's that this time of night? A sharp corner coming up. And the moon is out, I can see it. Shrouded in cloud, but it's out. When asked how old my engine is again, it's uh, probably the same age as the bow, about 41 years old. <laughs> Just join the live stream, or um, uh, if you've just watching this back, you're thinking, "Oh, what's this live stream? What's going on?" Yeah, so I'm just doing, uh, just streaming my journey live, you know, just for a couple of hours a day. This is a long live stream. This one at the moment, probably be about three hours long. <laughs> Only because I'd like to have you with me, you know, whilst I do this. But normally it's only from somewhere like an hour along to what I normally plan to do. And it's just, yeah, just to keep um, in touch with you. Editing my videos takes a long, long time. The normal vlogs. So every, every minute that you watch is an hour for me to edit. I've just been asked about the internet um, again. It's, so what I'm streaming from now is my SIM card. I do have Wi-Fi on the boat, it's like a little, it looks like a broadband router, but it actually it's got another SIM card in it, uh, one which I share data to, so I can use that. But the, the SIM card in, in my phone that I'm filming from right now, that's unlimited, unlimited uh, data. At least that's one thing that won't run out. <laughs> Just uh, turning around this corner, we'll be able to get to see the moon again. I'm just going to take a break from the chat for a little bit because I've stepped back a tiny bit. Oh. And uh, sort of stretch my legs, change position. Hopefully you can't hear too much of the engine ragging away. Yeah, I can see your comments come in, but I just can't read them from where I am. I've 
where, where I'm looking, I can see the moon, obviously, just like you can. And I can see my tunnel light as well, lighting the way ahead of me, just, just in front of me. It's actually angled down. It should be angled up if you've got a tunnel light. But mine's angled down, slightly. And all the lights are on inside, so people, people know they can see me. See me coming, a mile off. Um, it's got the curtains open and the lights are on. And hopefully my fire's still going a little bit. <laughs> but it may have uh, gone down to its bare embers. The battery isn't going, it's just an internet signal, not great. But don't worry, whatever happens, I will put on Twitter and Instagram that I made it to my destination, okay? So if anyone's worried at all. Don't worry, just enjoy it, enjoy the ride. enjoy something that has never been done before. A live stream on a tidal river in the dark. <laughs> not, the, not the wisest thing to do, not something I would choose to do. It's just something that I've been forced to do. My engine's not as fast as I thought it was. And there's a lot of flow of the river coming the other way. And, you know, I've, I've taken advice from the experts. And they said it's possible to get to Torxy Foxy Lock, where I'm headed, in Lincolnshire, but it's, um, you know, travelling night time, I've done it before. It's not great in terms of, like, insurance, I think, I don't think uh, your insurance covers it at all, but, um, you know, I've got no choice at the moment. And that um, stops me worrying. Right, I can see your uh, comments again now. What I was doing there was just uh, standing right at the back of the boat. It's definitely warmer if I stand uh, close to the engine, <laughs> especially as it's at 80 degrees centigrade. Yeah, right now, location-wise, we're somewhere between Doncaster and Lincoln on the map. In the north of England. I mean, there's a lot more to the north. <laughs> there's a lot more further north. In fact, if you look at where we are on the map right now, it looks more like the, the, um, the Midlands, or, you know, the middle of... UK or oh, England, sorry. I've just been asked if the CRT are aware um, of my arrival, at my destination at Torxy Lock for the Fosdyke Canal. And no, they don't. Well, they do know, they do know I'm making this trip, yeah. But there won't be anyone there. Because they're on winter hours. And then, I would urge anyone who's a novice not to do this. It's only because I've done this before. I know the risks involved, and I'm taking them.
Oh, I've got a great um, comment come up saying that um, I've got about five to six kilometres. What's that, four miles or something like that? So, I don't know. Um, to get to my destination, which is great. Not long. I've just been corrected there, of course, yeah, so five kilometres is about 3.1 miles. And I should know that because I've done one of those 5k runs. I don't know why runners always subsist on in this country where we use miles, mostly, um, as, a, as a measure of distance. then sometimes on the river you'll see a miles per hour sign, you know, like a speed limit, but also you'll see a kilometres per hour speed limit, so it's, uh, I've not quite worked that one out yet. I did try, maybe I did work it out at one stage a few years back, but I forgot now. <laughs> so my, my friend Greg has chipped in and said, uh, yeah, runners say it's kilometres because it sounds like a longer distance. <laughs> Surely not. Surely they wouldn't do that, would they? And then someone else has come up with a great little factoid. The River Trent is one of few that actually runs north. So looking at it on the map, you'd think, as I'm headed south, I'll be going downstream. Well, no, it, it's the other way around. Its mouth is at, uh, well, I suppose Trent Falls, yeah. uh, Hull, that area. That's where the North Sea is, or where you can join the North Sea, that hole. Oh, it is cold right now, very cold. A little bit more rum is called for. see it, probably can't, but there's a load of geese flying across the sky. That's cool.
Yeah, it'd be nice if I had some kind of night vision goggles, wouldn't it? That would be cool. But, you know, I'm travelling so slow, it's... I can see ahead of me, you know, because it, it doesn't approach that quick, you see what I mean? So I'm just turning around to the right. Stay into the middle of the channel. But yeah, we're going to a section where it is, yeah, it's fairly bendy, but it's not too bad. You know, it's not like turning right back on yourself or anything. And you can see, can't you, the, the way ahead. Just about. <laughs> I get some comments about drinking. You know, um, should I should I really be drinking rum and uh, cruising? Well, I am a pirate, so uh, you know, what else am I going to drink? But also, I'm not drinking very much. Hopefully, if you're watching it back, at least you can skip through. <laughs> Still alive. Um, I'm still on the River Trent. Cranking it up the River Trent. In the dark. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing, just, just about. It's not ideal, obviously, is it? But So yeah, I'm back. Hi. Um, sorry about that. It just the internet went. It's just a real um, dark spot or whatever. Not the dark web. Wow. Um, but I had time to go to the toilet, so that was quite good. Too much information, maybe. Oh, right. There's the moon again. I've got to say thank you to Greg, uh, who gave me a call whilst the stream was down. I couldn't take the call, mate, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, only because if, if I took the call, it, just, it, it would end the stream, and I'd rather sort of leave it until I can keep reconnecting. You know, I keep pressing the reconnect button, you know, that's how it works, anyway. We're back, we're back. Night mission, yeah, on the... Dark. <laughs> what are we doing, eh? What the bloody hell are we doing? I, I didn't plan it like this. Should have been there by now. But the water's behaving. <coughs> and hopefully not too far off the destination as well. Someone actually tell me um, how far away I am, because <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to look at my uh, GPS map and weather phone, but I couldn't get a signal. I wonder if I can now, let's have another go. Ah, there we go. It's uh, coming up now. Just passing St Mary's Church. St Mary Church, or I can't see it because it's too dark. But I would have done it in the day. I don't normally like church to itself. I don't know. I'll slow down a little bit. This is quite a bend to come to. It's always sensible, isn't it? Slow down if you're not sure. Uh, a little bit more gas.
So at least, at the very least, I know which way to turn. <laughs> torch with me which is quite powerful actually didn't realize that look at that well it lights up the boat anyway doesn't it but yeah at least i can see around me a little bit I remember this bit from the last time I did it. Nice wooded cutting on a or wooded ba uh, bank on the side. So you'll see the trees up high there. That's because there is quite a bit of a hill for Lincolnshire. <laughs> right, I just need to get out before I turn. I don't want to cut any corners, not at this st stage in the game. see, I think on your screen, you have to see where the river is ahead, can't you? In fact, I'm also using the screen myself, like my monitor of it, <laughs> to see where I'm going as well. It's great. Recommend it. So if you ever get in this situation as a boater, put your camera on a tripod on the roof. If it's like an iPhone or something, or Samsung, I'm sure we do the same thing use the low light camera to improve your vision but you know my eyes are adjusting now and I've of course got the moon as well I've just been asked can I see anything well yeah I can I can I can see plenty it's just not as much as you'd obviously see in the daytime. I can see quite a reflection off the water. You know, I know exactly where the water is. Not for very far in the distance, but at least around my boat. I know the position of where I am in the, in the river, right in the middle, because I can see both banks where they are, even if they are just silhouettes for some, for some of it. What I'd love to do is um, stick you at the front of the boat so you can see, you know, the water lit up ahead of you. <laughs> but then I wouldn't be able to see any of your comments. Or any of your live comments. Here we are, we see this little tower come up again. It's amazing, isn't it? I need to try and find out what that is.
been asked if I can see any fireworks, but I can. But if I hadn't, I'd set them off when I get to my mooring, I'll tell you that. Quite an achievement. This is the one drawback at my, about my old boat. It's just not very fast, is it? It's um, the Lister. It's good at chugging along, but it just doesn't doesn't cope too well on the rivers. It does it, but as you can see, it's not allowing me much time. <laughs> Still trying to work out what that red thing is in front. A tower with lights on it, I don't know. I don't have any navigation lights, so I don't have the red and green lights on the side, which ideally you would need, especially if you're on some waterways, it would be a requirement. But the CRT were very happy for me to just go out without them. <laughs> uh, I've got the tunnel light on the, on, the, on the front, at least. But there are no, no other boats around, so the navigation lights, the red and green ones, would only be for them. I don't know what side they're going to pass me on, I think. I've been told the red lights are Cotton Power Station. Oh. Right, we just... So, the, um, the stream's going to have to end in a bit, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, the battery is reaching 20% left at the moment, so we'll keep going. I'll put it in low power mode. That helps, um, but yeah, this is getting towards the end now. But don't worry, if it cuts out, I will update you. I'll let you know. Should I do a post on YouTube? I suppose that's the best thing to do because we're all watching it on YouTube. It's very, very dark now. Cotton power station that is ahead of us. C O T T A N. According to the comments, okay. Thank you. Oh. Told I've only got two, two and a bit miles left, which is great news. Really good news, because obviously I don't want to travel without here at night. It's difficult to see where we're going. And I don't want to encourage people to give us to do this as well. I'm only doing it because, it's, and I'm only staying, staying calm because I have to. Whereas, you know, if you find yourself in a situation, you'd probably be wrecking it, wouldn't you? So it's not, it's not ideal. Right, it's going to mount to the right a little bit. I 
can now see better when I'm not looking at the uh, at the, the uh, screen that I'm seeing the speed on. But my eyes are adjusted to the dark. Come on. Bloody hell. What I'd love to do is just go, go at a snail's pace, really slow down, and then I can really enjoy it. it sounds a bit mad, doesn't it? I do quite like night motive. But I am aware that there is a change in the, the tide, isn't there? So I'm trying to make the most of the rising tide. I don't want to let it get anywhere past high tide with the um, river coming the other way, because obviously it'll take me a lot longer to get where I'm going. But looking at the side of me with my torch, we're still flying along. So two miles will hopefully go very quickly. I've just been asked why am I cruising in the dark? Well, it's a weather window, so today it was a calm weather. For the rest of the week it's looking terrible. Windy. I can't go out in, on a wind, on a tidal river when it's windy because of the waves. I've got air-cooled engine. And waves will go inside the, the the vent for the engine to cool it down. So obviously, if my engine cuts out or if it just can't cool, then then cuts out. I'm, I'm effed in the A. But yeah, I needed to go today. It was the last chance. Tides aren't always in the favour, it can't always just go wherever you want. You can't just go in the morning. You have to go when the, the tide is right. But we've had so much rain that I've been pushing and pushing against fresh water coming against me, um, coming down the down the river. So uh, yeah. It's a bit silly. Don't no one do this please. Not a, not a great idea. Not my best idea, but it's a um, consequence. No, it's just a, what's happened because of what's on my boat not being fast enough. You know, if it was had a faster engine, I'd be there when the lock keeper said I would be there probably. Which he said it would take two hours. And how long have we been streaming for? 185 minutes. Um, which is over uh, three hours. Mass. <laughs> if anyone would like to buy me a pint or leave me a tip, that would make me very happy. And um, the link is PayPal dot me forward slash crank it but you don't have to I'm just suggesting <laughs> buy us a pipe will you mate <laughs> I won't be able to respond to the message that paypal doesn't work that way but I might be able to give you a shout out in the next video who knows in the next live stream I'd like to give Patreon members a shout out as well if I can for Right now I'm focused on trying to get up the Tidal River Trent in the dark, making a live stream, never done before. Come on, there we go. Right, oh, turn a bit more around. I remember this bit. Even though it's night time, I still remember this from the day, the day passage that I took. I would love to light up the boat for you, so you could see the boat, but you'll have to just excuse me while I don't do that, because it's easy for me to see the water around it, if I don't do that.
really love to know where exactly where I am. <laughs> the map isn't working too well. I've had this connected to a lot more Wi-Fi, but for some reason it won't so give me a location where I am. I don't know what that is. Above the screen, and I don't really want to fiddle where I'm with the camera right now. But the moon is it's right there, and it is guiding the way. Very bright. And I'm in the middle of the river again. It's good. And it's surely got to be about a mile and a half from where I need to be. Surely. Again for joining me. I know it's probably not very exciting. <laughs> Yawn. Just, uh, you barely see, can you, what we're doing? But I don't know. It is quite. We want to know that we're going to get to the morning. So I want an ending out of this. And I hope. I really do hope that the battery holds out. But I just had a warning. So I expect another morning soon and then I'll have to just let it run into the goes dead. And then just update you when I finish the trip. But yeah, what a glorious day! Bloody hell, what we're doing. But yeah, I really appreciate all your support. You're sending me some messages right now. I am seeing them. On the live feed. The boat's still there, look. <laughs> still there. Oh, come on. It's only getting there and warm up, really. I'm just, yeah. It's real cold. So I'm not really doing anything, I'm just. Well, I'm actually sat on the boat at the moment, I'm sat at the back, next to the next to where you are on the roof. Huddle together for warmth. <laughs> oh man. We should have been there by now, yeah. But never mind. <laughs> right, going around to the left slightly.
and I can actually see all the stars. I wouldn't be able to show you because the camera won't show it, but I can see all the stars above me. Beautiful. Quite special if you can see that. What I should have done is actually, um, before this live stream, I should have shared my location somehow. I don't know how you do that. So then you can actually see in real time. It wouldn't help if you were watching it back, that would be useless. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you could see exactly where I was. It can help me because I don't really know. I'm just looking out for talks a lot now, which is still a while off. Getting some great comments come through now. I don't know how they know, but they're saying about like 20 to 30 minutes is what I've got left to go on my journey. Uh, let's just do a temperature check quick. Yeah, it's um, hanging about, it's hanging, it's not hanging, it's just um, a little bit after 80 degrees. Right, I've got to be careful here, going to slow down a little bit. Oh yeah, just as I thought, going round to the left. So for a moment there, I couldn't quite see the river carrying on ahead, because it didn't, it carried on round to the left. So that's what I do, when in doubt, just slow down a bit. But yeah, I obviously don't want to slow down too much, because uh, I've got to get there. Before the tide change changes again. No, it's not. I don't know. I'll just keep going. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? Silly idea, Bobby. The engine's not getting too hot, but my old oil pressure gauge is at about zero. It's quite worrying. But at least it's not going all over the place. If the oil pressure gauge was flickering all over the place, that would mean that I just lost all oil, oil pressure. So at the moment it's very, very low. I don't know what that means. Probably it's just very warm. Yeah, the oil's so warm, there's not much pressure, I don't know. Oh dear. I'm just going to try and stick to the middle as best as I can. I bet you can't see anything now, I can see a bit where I am. Just enough. I 
I've got my map here. It says that I'm. I've just gone past Coates. Is that some, somewhere that locals know? I can see some lights ahead of me. And some searchlights as well. So there must be some kind of fireworks do. We might get to see some fireworks in a minute. <laughs> Slow down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I can see some search searchlights in the sky. Nice. Apart from that, I can see some couple of lights. Don't really help me, I don't think. Apart from, I guess I head that way. That's where the river's taken me. No, I'm going round to the right. That's where I'm going. <laughs> Let's just slow down a bit, because then I can see exactly where I'm going. Or at least, you know, it's easier to see. Oh, the water's dead still. Spooky. So I think I'm being told the island that I've got to watch out for is around the next bend. Oh, I hope I get the right side of it. I'm on the bend at Coates, apparently. I've got 10 minutes to the lock. Uh, well, at this speed that I was going. Let's go back to the speed I was going. Come on, we can make this. Come on. This is, this is definitely the hardest thing I've ever had to do on my boat. I know it doesn't sound like it for my voice, but I'm just trying to keep, you know, keep it real, keep it calm, whatever. No good freaking out over something unless it happens. <laughs> and then freak out. Right, so this is on the bend. I'm going, oh, going round the bend. <laughs> uh, oh, about a mile and a half off the lock, apparently. So that's, that's way more than 10 minutes. Surely. I see another power station ahead. So I'm just taking it steady now, yeah. Plenty of water. Thank you so much for everyone's comments. Um, when you're watching this back, you can't see, but live, it's such a great help seeing all these positive comments and uh, yeah, helping me keep my shit together, basically. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Such a stupid idea. I've just been told, welcome to Trent Port. Ah. Right, oh yeah, Trent, I'm just looking at my map, um, just by the side of me, which has suddenly given me an idea of exactly where I am. It says Trent Port Road. I've just passed, apparently, I think. Yeah, I've got... A while to go, but I'm, you know what? On the map that I'm looking at, we're almost there. Almost there. Come on, everyone. Almost there. And I've got a little bit of rum left, so that's good, isn't it? You might not, might not be able to see much at all, but I can rest assured I can see using the power of my carrot-aided vision. You know, I had a stew the other night and it had carrots in it, so that's obviously 
allowed me to see at night now. So that's, that's it, that's it. That's what I'm doing from now on. I'm only traveling at night. <laughs> Idiot, why did I do this? Oh dear. But yeah, as a, just a comment just suggested, Danger is my middle name. <laughs> it's not, it's James. Oh, I should tell you that, should I? We'll be uh, forging all these documents with my name on it now. So is that, that's Cotton Power Station chimney again. Right, so we saw that earlier on, but we've gone through so many bends. Almost there, come on. Just taking it easy now. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need a pint after this. So I'll probably try more up and then just yeah, head to the boozer. <laughs> just, you know, just it's just nice to sit down in a nice warm room isn't it? and, uh, you know, chat to people about the stupid thing that I've just done. Not to show off or anything, though. I would never, I'd never say to anyone, give this a go. Bloody hell. I'd rather do another bungee jump. Rum's almost gone. <laughs> see, I rationed it, you see? Right, round the bend again. This one's a bit more of a slight bend, though. And it's very open here, I can see just this expanse of water when I'm in the middle of it. Pretty cool. With the moon on my left and the power station on my right. That's how I'm guiding myself. <laughs> and you know what, I'm going, I'm going, there's only one way I can go. The way my boat's pointing, so going that way. Once again, a massive shout out to everyone who's watching this live, helping me through it, helping me through this nightmare, uh, and watching it back. Um, and yeah, all, all the likes and stuff, well done. I'd like to see that. So I'm watching now, and there's 385 people watching. Hello. And there's 413 likes. How did that happen? Well, I've been streaming for, what is it, three and a half hours now, so it's uh, obviously people dip in and out, and I love that. It's great. The low power mode that I've set my phone on seems to be working. Please no one call me right now, otherwise it will mess everything up. <laughs> Even though I have tried to silence calls, that hasn't worked. I need to go look at the manual again. Even though I'm on a wide expanse of the river, you've still got to watch out. Because it could be things like islands that pop up. I think I'm good for a while though, aren't I? I don't know, I don't, I've lost my map again. We're not far. On the home straight. Yeah, so the power station chimney has wandered off to the right. I can, I can still see it. Yeah, I'll just uh, show you power station over there and then the moon's up there and then we're looking down in the middle oh there we go it's a little bit wonky there so 
what I'm experiencing right now is quite a situation that I would not want to get into. Boating on a tidal river in night time. What a stupid thing to do. But, you know, I got myself in this mess and um, everyone that's watching this live, even watching it back, I don't, <laughs> you're all helping me through. You, you are helping me through this absolute nightmare. <laughs> God, that's what makes you feel alive, doesn't it? Stupid stuff like this. Oh, come on. Well, at least I've got some ginger beer left, actually. I'm not going to have any more rum, but I've got the ginger beer. I, I couldn't see where to pour the bloody rum. <laughs> Just stick it right down the gob. Come on, come on, naughty lass. Don't fail me now. You're doing so well. the sniffles a bit, sorry. Ugh. And I just also hope, not only that I can get there, but also that my phone battery keeps up. <laughs> Come on. Turning off actually will be quite an odd thing. Like turning off into the where you have to go for the lock. I can moor outside, thankfully, on floating pontoons, of course, because it's still tidal. But yeah, it'll be interesting trying to make the turning for that. I'll just do what I normally do turn right way around and, you know, take like a really wide berth so I can, I can refill the. Um, flow of water if there is any. It, it, it seems really still at the moment but I know it can be. So I've got a left and a right and then a bridge apparently. The river's really wide here, really wide. And I'm sorry that you can't see anything. <laughs> I can, I can see a lot more than you I think now. Let's put you, I'll tell you what, I'll let you look at the moon in the water for a bit. There we go. But I won't be looking at your comments now because I've got to concentrate. Oh, I know, I've got to look ahead, I've got to look dead ahead. Iceberg right ahead! Hopefully not. Oh, firework. See that? Do, do, do. I'm loving it. I'm not loving it. <laughs> I am. This is. I'm loving it. It's a challenge, isn't it? I've never done this before. I don't really want to do it again. I can help it. But yeah, I can see a lot more than you can on the screen, so don't worry too much. The river itself is the same colour as the sky almost, which is still like a dusky grey. A light sort of lighter colour than you think. And then the ground, like the you know the, the trees, the hills, hedges, power station, that's all in a silhouette, so I know you can see the lay of the land. So it really helps that this river is so wide here. And of course you can see the reflection of the moon. 
moon itself in the sky, but I won't look directly at it because that will not blind me, but uh, yeah, put me off of it. So Torxy Viaduct. It's apparently immediately before an island that I need to keep on my right. So um, yeah, should be seeing that soon, that'd be good. That's quite high up, isn't it? So I'll see it sort of looming into my view, as a, just as a silhouette. But as I get closer, obviously my the tunnel light will illuminate it enough for me to see. See some fireworks there. <laughs> That's cool. So imagine if it all went wrong right now, what would I do? Well, I'd stick the, the anchor right down into the water, obviously take the engine turn off, um, and just moor up in the middle of this river. <laughs> and then in the morning, just see what the tide's doing, the river's doing, and then probably just wait until the same time. I'd have to wait to the same time tomorrow, or a little bit later. Oh, God or I wait till like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning and set off again then. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe 4 or 5 a.m., something like that. I wouldn't get any sleep, would I? But what a story that would be. I've never chucked my anchor in the, the river, and I never want to. I would never want to get into that situation. Not even for TV or YouTube. It's just there in case I need it. Just like my life vest or whatever it's called, uh, <laughs> life reserve, buoyancy aid, um, or um, my VHF radio on channel 66. Is it for May Day? No, it's there if I need it. I've got a klaxon if I need it here. I'm going to try that out. I'm going to hear this. Listen to this. This will probably blow your eardrums off, but we'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got that if I uh, get really stuck. I haven't got a flare, though. I think the flare would be quite good. Just to, just to uh, get out of parties. Or uh, if I was a football hooligan, I could do that, couldn't I? Have a flare. Set that off at a game and get banned. Why do people do that? Going round to the left slightly now, and I can see a light ahead of me. Presumably on a bridge. It would be nice if this bridge was fully lit up, wouldn't it? That'd be great. But yeah, it ain't. <laughs> Someone just commented saying. The uh, klaxon sounded like bad gas. <laughs> very, that's very Alan Partridge, that. Right, let's just set you straight again. There we go, see right down the middle of the boat as we're turning. Someone's just rightly pointed out it's quite pointless having flares tonight when <laughs> it's, the, it's the 4th of November, it's not quite the 5th, but uh, yeah. Fireworks, uh, a flare tonight which wouldn't work, would it? People would just think it's a firework. And I was having some kind of crazy procession on the, on the, on the river. <clears throat> this is cool, I can see some lights ahead of me. Civilization. Oh yeah. Come on engine. I know you've got no oil pressure. But you've just got to make it. We're at 80 degrees centigrade. It's just held there really well. Come on. <coughs> so that's Torxy apparently. Oh. 
Right, so, sorry if uh, it cut out there. That was the battery. We're at 10% battery, come on. We can do it. Come on. The viaduct has an island next to it and I have, because I'm going downstream, I have to go on the right side of it. I have to keep this island on the left. Oh, where am I going? I can't quite see because I've been looking at the screen. Yeah, I can see the bridge there. I presume that's the thing that's got lights on it. <laughs> I'm going upstream, but I'm not sure if I'm kicking against any flow. Perhaps a little now. And if this stream cuts out, by the way, it just means the battery has died, okay? Or the, or the internet signal's gone. Actually, if the internet signal goes, it will hang on. It'll just freeze. But if it just turns off completely, that means my battery's just dead. And I am charging the phone whilst uh, streaming, but not enough. It's got fast charging going on, but it's still not enough. Come on. Almost there. I'm just I'm get, just guessing now that thing that's lit up is the bridge. Someone could confirm that, that might be quite helpful. <laughs> oh, as I'm getting closer I'll be able to see it, but from from here it's like I don't know, I don't really know what it is. I'm just staying in the middle of the river still. But come on! You can make this. Yeah, see, what I thought was a bridge, just like a farm. I think. Like, you know, like a barn roof and a couple of lights, I think that's just a farm. I'm not sure. My next, my next thing that I'm going to look out for is a bridge. So it should be, thanks so much Phil for your comment there, uh, it should be a slight right just before the bridge. Because obviously I've done this a couple of times before, but there are lots of other people who have done this many, many more times and know the local area. And um, I'm trusting that those people are watching now and they're commenting. <laughs> Otherwise I'm just taking someone's random advice. distance I can see some lights just over there to the right. We're headed that way. It's also reflecting on the water for me as well. Come on. <sighs> this is 
crazy. But I'm so close to my destination now. Right, here's the ridge. Right, it's not lit up. It's not the thing that's lit up. So, right, there's the island. Is that the island? Yeah. So I've just slowed right down. There's no lights on this bridge. It's completely in the dark. But I can see the outline of it against the sky, which is <laughs> slightly lighter, but not much. So I'm just um, going down to tick over just for a second. Get the bearings, and then I'll shine a light on it so you can see it. <clears throat> yeah, see, it's, it's much easier to see now that I've turned the corner. I keep on this bit here. I'm dodging a tree there, look, there's a, a tree that's stuck out, so I'm just going on the, the right side here anyway, and I believe the island is sort of over there that I've got to mess out. So yeah, as long as I'm sticking over this side, I'm all right. Under a mile to go, apparently. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not far at all. It's the next left, basically. And if you can see that, can you see the um, the bridge there? There it is, Torxy Viaduct, train bridge. And I've just got to keep right around this bend apparently, and then I'm not far off. Let's get a bit more speed. God, my heart's not beating fast. Honestly, I'm, I'm dead calm, but I'm always like that in um, situations where it's gone pear-shaped. <laughs> Whereas if I've like, I don't know, broken a plate or something, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, I lose my rag. So, I don't know, weird or whatnot. But here we go. I'm gonna turn a little bit so we can see the fireworks. <laughs> Really cool to see that. Come on, everybody! That's the first song I learned on my guitar. Oh, come on! Oh, hang on. Have I got rid of that one? No. Uh, it's confusing me, there's some lights over to the left. But yeah, well I'll soon know that I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> and it won't be hard to get back, because the, obviously the flow of the river. I mean I want the turning to be here, but I've got a little bit further to go. Left turn glad. Oh, I used to love that film. Torxy Village. I can see the outline of a... I don't know what that is. Is it a castle or something like that? There's no, no use for me telling you about it. I can't see it. But, oh, come on. A little bit further to go. Ah!
fireworks, I presume, are for me. <laughs> Apparently I've got 300 metres, between 300 and 400 metres left until the turning. This is very helpful because I'm, I'm finding it very difficult to look at an iPad. I thought it was a genius idea having an iPad because it's obviously going to be bright enough for me to see in the dark. But once you look at that screen, that's it. Your, your nighttime vision goes, which is not ideal. Come on, almost there. Just passing Toxy Castle. But, you know, it's dark, can't see it. <laughs> Some castles are lit up at night though, aren't they? Like Newark Castle. I don't know. I'm past that island that I was worried about. I didn't even see it. I've just been told when the river goes right, I go left, and I do remember that like from when I did it in the daytime, but that doesn't really help me right now. <laughs> you know, um, it does help me knowing that I shouldn't be going right, I should be going to the left. There's a, there's a large pumping station which I remember, it should be on the left as well. But that's after the turning, I think. In fact, I can just about make it out on the horizon now. I'm almost there. I'm seeing some lights. Doesn't necessarily mean that's where I need to go, but... Yeah. Oh, come on, I'm absolutely freezing cold. Come on. I'll give it a wide berth, this uh, turn in. If I miss it, I miss it, and I have to turn round and then I just come back the other way. <laughs> I'm just hoping I don't. I'll just, I'm going to slow down, right down. I've got an idea of where it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Come on. All the comments that are coming in, loving, loving seeing your comments, to, you know, keeping me sane, basically. The live comments I'm seeing, if you're watching this back, they're, oh, it's just been fantastic. Come on. 466 people are watching this right now. Watching me. Trying to find my way off the River Trent, tidal River Trent, in the dark. It's not a situation I wanted to get into. It's not. I didn't plan to do it. I thought I'd arrive at dusk, but I've arrived way after that. <sighs> Come on. I can see some lights off to the left-hand side, the, the white lights. But the red one, I think, is where I have to head to turn. I sort of have to keep the nose aimed at that and then turn from there. We're nearly there. Yeah, we're nearly there, yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's the square building is the pumping station if I'm right. Which you can walk to when you're more up. 
Come on. Engine oil pressure zero. Engine temperature 80 degrees centigrade. Air temperature four degrees Celsius. That's what it feels like. Probably a bit more than that. Ah, oh, come on. Gotta make it. If my engine conks out now, I'll be very, very disappointed. <laughs> That red light, that is my signal to turn off. Surely. Or does red mean danger? Well, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oof. Have I already missed a turning? That's possible. <laughs> but no, we're almost, as some people are saying, almost on top of it now. The swans just pop, pop there. They pop themselves right in front of the boat, actually. You want to you get out of the way, loves? Right, I'm going to slow right down now. Right down. This is tick over speed. We're going about two miles an hour. Thankfully, the river is really gentle right now. There's not, I can't see much of a flow, but then it is dark. <laughs> So I've no idea. You know, am I going to struggle getting in here? Possible, possibly. Oh God. And is my battery going to hold out? That would be gutting, isn't it? If this stream cut out right now. This is my battery. Oh Christ, come on. Oh. So right now, I can just about see the same as you can. Not a lot. I can see that red light. I can see the building that it's next to. I need to turn before that red light. But that's still, yeah, it's still not helpful. Can't quite see. So I'm really close now. Come on. Head torches at the ready. I've not arranged for anyone to meet me. It'd be nice if someone came out like with a torch. <laughs> but you can't really walk out here, it's a bit in the middle of nowhere. Right, am I turning now? Oh god, oh no, I think I remember a little bit further, is it? Or have I missed it already? I've missed it already. <laughs> I think it's over there. I hope I got this right. I'm stuffed if I haven't. Oh god, this is difficult. So difficult. I have no idea if I've taken the right turning. I can't see any lights at all. I'm just hoping this is the turning for Toxie Lock. Can't see any signs. You can see something on the left. I've got to get up some gas here because I'm... Do you know what? I think it's slack water. It does feel like it. A little bit of a flow. Here we go. There's a sign. And what does that sign say? It says... Talksy Lock. We're here. This is it. We've done it. And once I'm off this river... 
which I've taken, I've, I've not taken this right, I've taken it too sharply. So hopefully I'm not going to ground out now, that would be the worst. <laughs> this is it, welcome to Talk to Lock. <laughs> 